Hello, Philadelphia. This is Dennis Payne again, and not as Kensington Community, but the founder of Camp Liberty. And I'm talking to Pastor Joel about homeless issues here in Philly, Kensington, and all around America. How you doing today, Joel? I'm great, Dennis. Great to meet you. Thank you. Likewise, it's a pleasure. So, what what are your intentions as far as uh, you were talking about a homeless person what, earlier? What's you as a pastor plan for Kensington as far as people at the property level, etc.? Well, first of all, when they're at a poverty level financially, mm -hmm. I also know that it's very likely that they're at a poverty level spiritually. Mm -hmm. And as a pastor, I'm very concerned about all the depravity of people, everything taken from them, including God out of their lives, money out of their wallets, mm -hmm. uh, utilities in their home, and not having even, even a place to live. Now, that's, that's the stark reality of the evil that sur surrounds us. And, right. and we must pay attention to this. We cannot neglect it. We, this is our problem. It's not somebody else's problem. Right, it doesn't belong up the block. It is on our block. That's right. right. And you referred to Psalms 133. Would you be like saying, suggesting to the community that's how we pull each other back and unite? Yeah, we, that scripture talks about how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I've really got to hand it to you, Dennis, man. To do these uh, camps where people can come together, it really is a, is a camp of unity. Mm -hmm. And you've named it Liberty. That's camp Liberty. That really, camp Liberty. And, and it liberates them mm -hmm. from the horror of being feeling that they're by themselves, on mm -hmm. the street by themselves, abandoned by not only the government or their family and all their friends, mm -hmm. but they can come together and form a camp. A union. Idea? Mm -hmm. uh, that's a great idea. And, and as you, you're aware, I did that just this past November under I-95 at Richmond and Cumberland. Okay, that was a, just a test run. It was premature. It wasn't supposed to happen, but I got involved with Occupy. Occupy triggered the homeless thing. Okay. So I'm actually the founder of Havoc, Homeless okay. American Volunteer Organization Coalition. Awesome. Okay, which got to its birth rights in San Francisco back in 86, 87. Sure, but okay. now, I'm, since it's been kicked off last year, now I'm going to follow up this year with three more camps in three different locations, which I'm in the process of negotiating you know, possession now. I got to work it out with the 24th district, et cetera, et cetera. I got to provide, like, we're going to put uh, Operation um, Reach Out or whatever that is, Home or whatever. They got several programs from the city. Sure. I got to coordinate them all together. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I told them, set yourself up as a camp commander, dust boy or, you know, bucket boy, whatever you want to call them, <laughs> you know, but you got to have some kind of structure. That's right. And then run with it. And I gave them the name Camp Liberty mm -hmm. on a play on Valley Forge. I love it. As our founders of this country were in need, here we are 200 some hundred years later, mm -hmm. we still got a Camp Liberty Valley Forge type of thing going on. Great idea. Okay? This country was created to where that stuff wouldn't happen no more. Right. Okay? And like you were saying earlier, a lot of people are not united for many, many reasons. Financial, whatever. We can the list is oh, but yeah. what I see you doing, you're you're waking it up a dormant spirit, okay? Yeah. And that's kind of what the camps are supposed to do, mm -hmm. okay? The camps are like an intake center, mm -hmm. okay? People want to reach out to somewhere, but they, 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 they don't want to go to all these other things because they want to push the word of God on them. And mm -hmm. this is what I was liking what you were saying earlier. Reach them with love, Yeah. okay? Don't scare them off. Right. Take care of their needs first. That's right. And that's what Camp Liberty is about. We, we know people that need you know, homes, naturally, but there's food, medicine, clothing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like I said, I'm a polio survivor. I have to buy two pairs of shoes to mm -hmm. make one. Wow. So that's like for a normal healthy person paying $20, $30 for a pair of shoes, right. I've got to pay double, sometimes triple. Wow. You know, so there's all kinds of needs out there, and it's all chaotic, and the Camp Liberty and Unity is supposed to bring everything together.